Welcome to OG's World of Math. In this video, we want to see how we can solve problem on binomial expansion using Pascal Triangle. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, you can do that. Share my link, make comments on my video, click on the notification bell. Thank you. Now, we want to solve this um, by binomial expansion using Pascal Triangle. So this is how the Pascal Triangle works. Now, for power of zero, I have this coefficient for power of 1, I'm going to bring 1 here and 1 at the end. This is power of 1. For power of 2, I'll do the same thing. I'll bring 1 at the end. 1 plus 1 is 2. I'll put 2 in between and I'll bring 1 here. This is for power of 2. For power of 3, I'll bring 1. 1 plus 2, 3. I'll put 3 in between. 2 plus 1, I have 3. I'll place 3 in between and then I'll bring 1 at the end. So this is the power of 3. For the power of 4, I'll bring 1 at the end. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 in between. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 in between. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 in between. And then I'll bring 1 for power of 4. And that, then it goes on and on like that. Now let's solve a problem. Now like I told you, all of this represents the coefficient of x and y. Now I have a power of 4. So what I'm going to do, I'll start with this, the question of 1, I'm going to write xy plus, I'll do the same thing, 4xy, because I'm taking the first and the second variable, so plus, I have 6xy plus, I have 4xy plus, I have 1xy. Now, this is the old idea. Now, because in this expansion, I have a polynomial of 4. So, the first variable will start with a power of 4, and the second variable will start with a power of 0 all the time. If I have a polynomial of 10, the first variable, which is x, will start with a power of 10, while the second variable will start with a power of 0. Now, this is how it works. As the value, or as the power, sorry, of x decreases, the power of y increases correspondingly. So if you look at this, x will decrease from 4 to 3 and y will increase from 0 to 1. If you add their power, you get 4. Add their power, you get 4. Now this will decrease from 3 to 2. y, y will increase from 1 to 2. If you add their power, you're going to get 4. X will decrease from 2 to 1, y will increase from 2 to 3. Add their power, you get 4. x will decrease from 1 to 0, y will increase from 3 to 4. Add their power, you're going to get 4. Now, I'm going to tidy up this. The final thing we're going to do, y raised to power 0 will give me 1, so I have x raised to power 4 plus, this is 4x3y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y raised to power 0, x raised to power 0, sorry, is 1, 1 times 1 is 1 times y raised to power 4, I'm going to get y raised to power 4. Now let's solve the next problem. Now in the next problem, we're going to take this row because we have a power of 3. So I'm going to start 1, 3x and then minus y plus, then I have 3 into bracket 3x, the first, minus y, the second, plus this, I have 3 into bracket 3x, then minus y, then plus 1 into bracket 3x minus y. Now, like I said, as the power of the first, the power of the first will start with 3, the power of the second will start with 0. So now, as the power of the first decreases, the power of the second increases. So this will, increase, this will decrease from 3 to 2, this will increase from 0 to 1. If I add their power, I'm going to get 3. This will decrease from 2 to 1, this will increase from 1 to 0. This will decrease from 1 to 0, and this will, oh sorry, this will increase from 1 to 2, 
Now this will decrease from 1 to 0 and this will increase from 2 to 3. So finally, I'm going to tidy up this. So this is y raised to power 0 is 1. So 3 raised to power 3 will give me uh, 27. x raised to power 3 will be x cubed. So I have 27x cubed here, yeah? 27x cubed. Now for this, this is 3 squared, which is 9. x squared is x. Nine time, uh, 3 times 9x squared will give me plus 27x squared. Then I have a minus y here, plus 3 times 3 will give me 9x. Then I have um, this would be y squared already. My minus y times minus y will give me y squared. Then plus, this is, this 3 raised to, 3x three raised to power 0 is already 1. Now if I have minus 3 raised, minus 3 cubed, when you have a negative here and then you have an odd power, then your answer will be positive. So I have positive y raised to power 3. Or if you don't want to do that, you can multiply minus y times minus y times minus y to give you minus Sorry, to give you minus, not plus, to give you minus y raised to the power 3. For odd power, your answer will be negative. For even power, your answer will be positive. Now, the final thing will be 27x raised to the power 3. This is minus, 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 plus to be minus 27x squared y, then plus 9xy squared, and then minus y cubed. So this is how to solve a prob problem on binomial expansion using Pascal Triangle. Thanks for watching my video. You can always subscribe on OG's Wealth of Math. Share my link. Make comments on my video. Click on the notification bell. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.